Hey everybody, this is number four in our 100 Bible stories, the story of the fall into sin. And uh, this story is an important story because it tells us uh, something about sin. It tells us something about this thing that we call original sin. Um, and it just tells us about how we, we tend to sin in general. So what's been happening is that uh, God has created Adam and Eve. He set them in this great garden. He said, you can eat from anything that you want to except for this one tree. And uh, and and that seems like a pretty fair deal. He, he says that one tree just leave that that alone. Um, uh, and and it seems like they do for for quite some time, however long that is. But then there's there's this this serpent in the garden. This serpent is uh, like the Satan figure. Um, and and he comes along and and he catches Eve by herself one time. And um, and that's kind of clue number one about uh, sin is that a lot of times uh, when we fall into sin. Uh, we fall into sin a lot of times when, when we're caught alone, that that's when, when the devil tries to tempt us, uh, when we're alone, when, when the people that are there to surround us and to love on us aren't, aren't there, and, and that's when we're vulnerable. And so we have to kind of watch out for those those moments. And the serpent comes in and, and just kind of asks a question, and, and that's number two, is that, um, uh, you know, when, when we're tempted into sin, a lot of times uh, we're, we're tempted uh, because of this sort of reframing or this different understanding of, of what sin is all about. And so the, the serpent comes and he says, well, did God really, did God really say that you couldn't eat that? And Eve responds, yes, God absolutely says that. And the crazy thing here is that Eve actually adds some stuff to what God has said. God has said, you can't eat of this tree. But Eve actually says, you, we can't eat of the tree. We can't even touch the tree. Uh, which is another thing that, that I think we do as human beings a lot of times. We, we take God's word and then we just sort of multiply it out to where it doesn't even make sense anymore. And so God never said you can't touch the tree. Uh, you, but uh, Eve goes ahead and she says, well, I can't do that. Now, if we're doing that for ourselves, if we're saying, hey, I'm not even going to go near any place where I would be tempted into that sin, that's okay. But it's one of those things where we have to be careful about the decisions that we're making and the actual law that God is telling us, like, do this or don't do this. And so then you, you get back into the serpent and uh, the serpent kind of, you know, goes against all of that. And he says, oh, you won't die. You'll actually get better stuff. You will know the difference between good and evil. Now, all that Eve knows right now is good. And so knowing the difference between good and evil is actually a downgrade for her because that means that she's going to have to learn about what evil is. And so it's a terrible thing to know what's good and evil. But the serpent, the Satan, is, is making that sound like it's a good thing, which is another thing to remember about sin is that a lot of times sin is going to sound like it's something good. But in the end result, it's going to be something that's not good at all. And so um, uh, you you get to this point where, you know, they, they actually eat the apple and they commit that very first sin that is like a it's like a seismic event in all of humanity that what's happening there uh, in theological terms, we call that original sin. That what's happening is that that first sin shatters everything. That it's like a little puff of air that makes the whole house of cards fall down. And it's like a, a genetic mutation that gets handed down from person to person, even to me even to you, that that because Adam and Eve had that first sin, because they committed that first sin, which showed that they didn't trust God, that showed that they, they weren't going to do what God said, that first sin led to all of our sins. And that first sin is, our, is the condition that we're born into, and it's called original sin. Now, that original sin causes us to be afraid of God. It causes us to feel like we can't um, have, have a sense of what it it means for uh, for us to to know God in a way that is completely loving, and so uh, we get afraid, and we go, oh man, God is is going to be coming after me, and God is saying, no, I want to forgive you, I want to love you, I want to restore you, but we 
we run and hide just like Adam and Eve did. And that's what it means for us to be sinners. And that's what it means for us to have original sin. And so um, uh, that is is what it, it, it this whole thing about sin is all about. And, and this uh, original sin, this first sin that was committed, the fall into sin. And so um, if you would, if you're a part of our confirmation group and um, uh, you're, you're doing this kind of for credit, um, let me know that you have read the story go down to the comments and ask, ask answer this question what did adam and eve do when it says that their eyes were open so the scripture says that their eyes were open they do something right after that let me know what that is down in the comments below thanks a lot for watching we'll see you later bye